collection has got to be the rarest art collection in the world. I think what's so special about them. Well, each one of these cards is hand drawn, hand colored by a soldier from World War II of every plane and fighter jet that was ever created with all the stats, all the speeds, the range, the engine, everything about every single plane. Some of these are in black and white, some of them are in color, some are in pink, some of them are in water colors, some of them are just in pencils. The time that somebody had to spend on each one of these. How long would it take? This is only half of them. This is a binder with a hundred sheets with nine inside of each sheet. But this is only half of them. Because over here, I have a bag full of about a thousand more hand-drawn planes. The reason why these ones are bagged up is because some of them on the back have portraits and different pictures like puzzles that you can put together when you, this stack right here, puts together a puzzle of this drawing. And this one puts together like a checkers board. Some of them have different logos and signs because don't worry about the rubber bands on these because these are all like hard, thick cardboard and it's not affecting them. So don't think, oh, I don't know what I'm doing because I got rubber bands on them. But it's not affecting me, trust me. I've looked at these a thousand times. This one right here has this whole stack right here. When you put this together, it makes another puzzle of different poster boards and advertisements. There's even a Firestone one. I mean, this is ridiculous. All of these are hand drawn. There's dates on some of them. These are from about the 40s. Just because that's the most re recent date that I see on most of the stuff. This was one he must have started, but then he drew it on the other side. If I take this rubber band off, I'm pretty sure the plane is on the other side. And to top it all off, even besides that, here we have a baseball card. Gerald Brady, John Murray. But on the back, we have a hand drawn plane by this same artist. So, there's one of the um, rare cards out of there. I think that's the only baseball one that I know of, but I mean, there's probably about I haven't even got to count all of them, truthfully, but I'm guessing around 2,000 of them, maybe more, not sure yet, haven't counted. Some of these have colors, some are in pen, See, this one's in pencil. 
water colors. It's all the water markers. All of them have all the studs. Everything one enough. This has got to be the most rarest card collection in the world. I've ever seen one. There's actually a couple that have holograms on the back. I mean, for me to show you every single one of these cards would be impossible to film. It would just it'd be like a three-hour film to show you every single one of these. I mean, I laid them out on my table and filled the whole table up, another table behind it, and still had probably about this many of this pile. I only had probably about this many laid out on the table and still had this many to go. This collection, I've been actually sitting on it for a while because I've been collecting cards almost all my life, but these top it off. I've never seen, you not go never see nobody with a collection like this because this is the only one in the world by the same artist and how they fell into my hands is my grandfather was in the war he was in Vietnam a soldier from Akron, Ohio that ended up going over there fighting, doing whatever and came back with cancer after so many years from Ancient Orange but one of the um, soldiers that he was um, friends with drew these Truthfully, we don't know the whole entire story besides when he came back from the war. We didn't even know he had these, but when he died, basically, and going through his stuff, these was in there. He wasn't known to be an artist. This was just in his possessions. So obviously, it was one of his buddies from war. Either way it goes, the time frame is from the early 1900s. And I haven't seen really any autographs or signatures or a name on these. But I don't think I've read every single one of them. I have read a lot of them. This is just out of this world. How much time this guy spent? sure he didn't leave any of them out. I didn't know there was this many planes made, to be honest. But if you're into aviation or collecting, I don't know what would top this. I mean, tell me, this card collection can fill up your entire living room from, if you just place these next to each other on the floor. I don't know how big the living room is, but that's what I'm guaranteeing. And I'm not really that thirsty for money because I've been sitting on these for a couple years now. And I have a lot of items that I'm selling on eBay. And these are eventually going on eBay. I'll drop them on the back. 
They don't really say nothing on the back, except for some of them do have certain things. These ones must have not have made a puzzle. I've actually put, took every single one of them and flipped them until I made puzzles and put them together. And that's why these aren't the rubber bands. Here we have a Firestone spark plug. the money situation. I have a lot of items selling on eBay. So I just want to get the right offer for this. Which is basically why I'm doing this video so you can see that this is no regular card collection. This is the rarest card collection in the world. Anybody looks stupid if you have this. If they try to show you anything. The detail in some of these. This one back here, you can see that. Person sitting inside of it. These are just the coolest thing. And if you're into planes and aviation, this is as good as it gets. You're not going to find another collection. Different pieces of cardboard are stacked up and put one on top of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a rubber band off. I stack up and put They're thick. They're thick cardboard, so it's not like they bend easy or have bends in them. Nothing like that. So they're pretty sturdy. They had to take thousands of hours.